Yeah. Okay, all right, fair enough. Yourself, and, Eric. It is, okay. Yeah. And and he just and, and you were really grateful that there was a pit orchestra between you and him, a very strange and bizarre looking man, but a lovely man and, and uh, his records are treasure still. And a few months ago, the White Stripes did a session for um, Radio 1 program and we were having a meal beforehand and I was talking to them about Gene Vincent. And uh, not only did they know about Gene Vincent, but they were able to finish their set by playing uh, Baby Blue, which is what they're going to play now. Fantastic.
and he's looking for a home, okay? Oh, well, if anybody asks you people who sang you this song, you tell them it's Jackie White. He's done been here and gone. He's looking for a home. He's looking for a home. Right, hold on, Meg. He's looking for a home. Thanks you and I thank you. Good night now. What a band, eh? And not only did they do a Gene Vincent number, but uh, an Eddie Cochran number as well. We were talking about Which this. Which Eddie Cochran one did they do? Well, Bo Weevil. It's obviously it's an old song, but he did a very good version of it. For that, it was uh, Gene Vincent's Baby Blues. I'm sure you recognise. Absolutely. Yeah, Joe's no. not a really big rock and roll no, fan. Okay, but he's still young. <laughs> he likes the mystique. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's actually not that true, but I won't. Anyway, so what are, every time I go, you've been in this room next door to us, this shack, for throughout the whole of this festival. Have, yeah. you, have you been out into the real world at not all? Not at all, no. We've been doing six, seven hours a night of coverage for BBC Choice right. in a kind of tumble-down hut just over there. So this is the final indignity coming into the BBC Two palace. Yeah, and, and, and having it such a comfort space. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you only do half Nauch an hour girls, a night. <laughs> whatever they are. <laughs> it's shocking. Yeah. It is rather shocking. Plasma yeah. screen, oh. cushions. At one stage I saw, saw you with uh, a mask of me. Yeah, that's was, right. What was that about? Apart from being embarrassing for you, was we it? should have bought it. That yeah. does quite a good impression of you, John. Does well, it, it's yeah. nice. Just I think it's just a standard thing, isn't it? That um, that <laughs> people do is just the, if you've got a few impressions in your locker somewhere along the line, you have to do John Peel. It's like you do Frank Spencer and you go, <laughs> oh Bessie, and you do just Ali G you and you go, Buyakasha, and you do John Peel. You go, oh, it's a, you know, White Stripes and what a fantastic band they are. <laughs> No, it's just something that it's you not, have it's to not, do. It's not bad, yeah. No. Well, of course, I don't really know, you know, because I, I, I don't hear myself. But even the way you just say Peel, even when you're not doing the impression, it has a particular intonation. Peel. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's just a friendly sound of musical authority. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like what you're doing. There's a warmth yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah, there is, a, is indeed. So, uh, you've really been doing seven hours? Yeah, that one, no, that's exaggerating.